What is going on you guys? In today's video I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. I'm going to be using a wheel to decide what lure I'm going to be using. So I already pre-made the wheel on my phone. I'm going to screen record my screen so you can see a little bit better. On the wheel we have 16 options. I'm just going to read off some of them. We have like a wacky rig, a spinner, buzz bait, crank bait, duck lure, spider lure, frog lure, dragonfly lure, some crazy stuff. So 16 options. Let's, we got to catch fish on three of them. So that's the challenge for today. We're going to spin the wheel three times and we're going to see if we can catch three fish. So let's get our first spin in. We get find your own lure. That's probably the hardest one. So what that means is I got to go around the pond and I have to go to try and find my own lure, like a worm or something like that. So let's see how that challenge will hold up. So guys, first and foremost, I actually found this hook on the ground off camera, but it's the same hooks that I have, so I'm pretty sure I literally dropped it like five minutes ago. But I'm going to count it, we're going to tie this thing on, because I'm guessing whatever I'm going to find on the floor, uh, lure-wise, is going to be a soft plastic. If not, I'll be very happy, because that'd be pretty cool. But, let's get this tied on, cut off the excess line, and let's see what we can find. So right off the bat, we have this. As you can tell it's very old. Since it's old though, it actually has some pretty good action. Let's see what else we can find. We're definitely gonna keep this in the pocket just in case. I, I'm kind of scared that I'm gonna run into a rattlesnake. Cause I saw one last time. Well guys, I think we're gonna have to stick with uh, the first one we found. I'm not seeing much else around here. Actually I do. Right here there's, a, there's another rip Senko. And another like ripped finesse worm. Which one do you think gives us the best odds, guys? Probably not that one then. Probably this one. We'll leave that there though if we do need it. Let's get this bad boy tied on. Oh, oh my god, I had a bite. You could hear the the genuine surprise in my voice. I actually got a guy a bite guys. Right there. Oh my god. Hold on. Hold on. Oh my god, don't get off, please. Nice! Look at that, guys. No cuts, not faked. You could see that. Barely lipped, or barely, barely hooked him. Look at that. Nice. That was on. The, the lure that we found. So we can actually now move to... Oh my god, there's a Senko down there. Hold on, guys. This would have been better, probably. But, we already won the first lure. Thank you, buddy. Yeah. Guys, I did not think I was actually going to be able to pull that off. So now, we move to challenge number two. Here's my hand and camera. Challenge number two. I like to put stuff online. Alright, guys, I'm actually really surprised that I caught one on that one. So now let's go on to lure number two. Let's see what the wheel has in store for us. To find their own lures off the wheel. We get creature bait. All right, that one's that one's not too bad. That's like a kraken craw, bandito bug, and like trench hog stuff like that. So let's go see what we have in the bag and see what we can use. Ooh, we have kraken craws right here from Guggen. Open one of these up. I feel like actually this is going to be a better creature bait. This is more of a creature bait than a fluke. So I think we're going to go with this. But anything else look uh, appetizing? Look at these crawfish. <laughs> that looks pretty cool. But we're going to go with the crack and craw. And we're just going to Texas rig this bait. We're going to go weightless.
Oh, oh, please. Off the top. Cut him off the top. I touched him. We touched him, boys. Well, hold on. You see that he mangled up that lure? But, let's throw him back out there. Thank you, buddy. All right, guys, finally finished the creature bait. That one took a lot longer than catching one on the lure that I found on the floor, which is kind of insane. So let's, we're, gonna, we're gonna spin the wheel one more time. Oh, crankbait, it almost landed on duck lure. And those are probably the two hardest here because there's so many weeds in the water. I almost feel like the duck lure might be better, <laughs> but we're gonna try out a crankbait, but this might be the end of the challenge. That might be uh, what kills me today, so. We're going to tie on a crankbait and, you know, at first let's see what type of crankbaits we have. Um, not too sure. This one looks pretty good. I think we're going to give this one a shot. I've never used a crankbait here, so that's kind of exciting. But, let's give it a try. So guys, this is it. This is what the challenge comes down to. There's so many weeds in here, you don't realize it until you've been here. Like on camera, I know you're probably thinking it's not too bad, like you can probably use a crankbait. No, it's like full of weeds, like walls of just weeds in the water. So, now that I've made my excuse, time to go fish it and see if I can actually complete the challenge. All right, let's make a first cast right here, see if we can even get it out there away. Okay, that's actually better than I thought it was gonna be. We already hit weeds. That's not good. Okay, it's a monster. No, as you can see, couldn't even reel it for two seconds without getting weeds, so. I have a feeling that my waders might come into play at some point this, at this, uh, this lure. Oh, oh, don't come off. Don't come off. Please. It's a little guy. But I don't care at all. Oh, we did it. We did it, guys. We caught one on the freaking crankbait. There we go. Popped it right out. They got littler and littler as the challenge went on. But it doesn't matter. It's going to end this video. Comment down below if you're still here. If you like this type of content. But thank you, buddy.